Okay, <clears throat> vacuum testing the system. I have my 3 CFM pump, and you can see by looking at the gauges, we're at as much vacuum as we're going to get on both sides. My pump has been running for at least 45 minutes. You can do it in a half an hour. I don't recommend any less than that. Once you've achieved all of this, then we're going to check it now. We're going to see if it holds vacuum for at least a half an hour. Now a lot of guys will tell you just to shut the system off. Turn these two valves off right here so you disconnect this line. And then see if it holds pressure. But that's actually the wrong way to do it. You need to test your Schrader valves along with everything else. And if you don't disconnect your fittings, your Schrader valves aren't tested because they're hooked behind the O-rings and they won't leak off. And what will happen is you'll get a good test, you'll disconnect and all, you'll put your Freon in it, and then it will leak out the Schrader valves. We want to keep that from happening. So the right way to do it, or the way I do it, I don't know if it's the right way or not, because I'm just a backyard mechanic, is I'm going to go ahead and shut these valves off right here. These two valves disconnect this line from this line and respectively this line from this line they do not disconnect you from your gauge just so you're aware of how they work so we're going to go ahead and turn these off okay they're just o-ring operated so you don't really have to turn them hard somehow my handle got broken the other one doesn't matter still works fine now i've essentially disconnected my pump from my system and my feed line essentially so i'm going to kill my pump and you'll see that it's holding pressure, okay? So now to test it, I'm going to go ahead and close these valves. Just in case you're wondering, left is closed because it's, un it's letting the shredder valve out. We'll turn these out, okay? So now we've created a situation where the valves are off and the shredder valves are closed. So the, the vacuum is maintained inside the system, all right? And you can see the gauges are still at vacuum. And I'm going to go ahead and pop my valves off. And you can see inside these valves they're set up where they actually pop loose and they'll maintain the vacuum in the hose. If you look at your gauges they still have vacuum in them. Those hoses still have vacuum in them because these valves are set up and they're closed. So now we're going to let it rest and we're going to do our vacuum check and I'm actually just going to let it sit for another 45 minutes to an hour because I got other things to do. And then I'll come back and I'll hook it up and show you how I prove that there's still vacuum in the system and the Schrader valves are okay. So I'll be back in a moment.